On August 12th, Bon Appetit editor at large Carla Lally Music announced on Twitter that she would no longer appear in Bon Appetit videos following the departure of several chefs of color from the video channel last week following what they said were failed contract negotiations. In a statement, she said that she had asked to be released from her contract with Condé Nast Entertainment on August 7, but that she hopes to remain a food editor at large on the editorial side. In a statement published on Instagram on Friday, as The Washington Post reported, Test Kitchen manager Gabby Melian announced that she also would no longer appear in Bon Appetit videos. A post shared by Gabby's Kitchen at Gabby Melian underscore August 7, 2020 at 11.40 a.m. Pacific Daylight Saving Time, after weeks of negotiations, Condé Nast Entertainment is not meeting my expectations regarding the plans to have a more diverse and inclusive video program. For that reason I will not be signing a contract with them to appear in videos," she wrote, saying that she would continue working as the test kitchen manager. Bon Appetit has been in the midst of a reckoning over worker treatment and race. Business Insider's Rachel Premack reported that staffers of color said that BA's toxic culture of microaggressions and exclusion extended past a controversial photo of former editor-in-chief Adam Rapoport that appeared to show him dressed up as a Puerto Rican man. Assistant food editor Sola L. Whaley said that she had been paid significantly less than her white counterparts to appear in videos, sparking a wave of support from many fans. Premack reported that L. Whaley, Rick Martinez, a contributing food editor, and Priya Krishna, a contributing writer, said that they would no longer appear in Bon Appetit videos following failed contract negotiations that they said would still leave them being paid less than their white co-hosts. 7. Bon Appetit senior food editor Molly Baz also said that she would no longer appear in videos, saying that she had asked to be released from her contract with Condé Nast Entertainment. For weeks, contract negotiations between CNE and Rick Martinez, Priya Krishna, Gabby Melian, and Sola L. Whaley ensued. I hoped that the combined leverage of all the hosts along with others who were applying pressure from within would help force commitments and guarantee change, Carla Lally Music wrote in her statement. Somehow, it wasn't enough. When asked for comment, a Condé Nast representative referred Insider to an internal email sent to employees last week that stated that the company had found no evidence that race played a factor in setting compensation for any video team members and was planning to resume BA video production in September with returning and new talent.